1884, there was a young boy, a Stala boy, 14 years old. He wasn't in school at the time, but that's not uncommon for people of native or non-native ancestry in 1884. And he had family on both sides of the American border. As he's walking, he looked over his shoulder a few times and he saw smoke rising up. A big, a big fire was taking place somewhere near Nooksack. And he got scared. Um, Aboriginal people were scapegoats for a lot of things that were taking place at that time. And um, something told Louis Sam that he should be careful. And so rather than following the, the Whatcom Trail home, he cut through the forest. Later that day, the Justice of the Peace, the Canadian Justice of the Peace for Sumas Prairie, showed up on the Sumas Reserve and said that he was arresting Louis Sam, that a warrant had been issued for his arrest um, based on statements from American sheriff fire that Louis Sam had seen was the burning store of James Bell, the, the shopkeeper, and his body had been found with a bullet through the head. So Louis was arrested. Telling the story of, of uh, the lynching of Louis Sam is cross-cultural education. Those kinds of acts we need to continue to say, here's the truth from our point of view. This is what happened and it's not okay that this happened. Our history books have, for the generations, have not told the truth. They have left our people out of the books. And so, to me, we're being the victors. We are telling our own stories. We're here, we're well, we're alive. Yes, indeed, there were great injustices visited on our communities and, in, and on individual Stalo people like young Sam. There is absolutely no doubt in my mind that racism is still a problem within the justice system. Um, whether you're talking arrest or incarceration, um, it's a factor that needs to be considered and taken into account when you look at, okay, has justice fairly been delivered fairly um, to a particular group of people? And in the case of uh, First Nations people, the answer is a pretty loud no. Our children are struggling today in the education system. We're overrepresented in the, in the jails. We're just now beginning to take our place. Why? Because we're turning back to our culture. And that's a story in itself. We lied. We know who killed Louis Sam. We know when they did it, why they did it, how they did it. We could have gone after them. We could have extradited those people, right? We could have brought justice to the Stalo people, but we didn't. One day I